former Delhi Police Commissioner, IPS officer and former Lieutenant Governor of uh, Puducherry, Dr. Kiran Bedi is now joining me. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Bedi, for speaking with us. Uh, we've had these two extreme cases of depravity, almost animal-like behavior. Uh, it was Aftab a few weeks ago and today it is Sahil. What is going on here? Help us understand. I mean, what, what causes this kind of absolutely debased behavior? Is it lack of fear of law or is it that some people just happen to have a very devious mind? I think it's exceedingly um, irresponsible, unconscientious parenting. The way we are producing our children, the way we are grooming our boys and girls both, the way we are educating them, we are more degree-oriented rather than value-based. So the values are minus in our education. There's no humanity. There's no human being. It's only learning a skill, not living a life. So I think that's where we're going wrong. It's the home. I would uh, put the blame first on the homes, the parents, and then both education as well. How do we groom our children in the classrooms, boys and girls both? And girls emotionally uh, very, very, uh, very fragile, emotionally very fragile. And the boys, uh, 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 no, res no respect for law. So I think we are going wrong in very heavily parenting. And parenting is not becoming an issue at all in our society. Parenting is all by accident. It's not by care, but accident. I also want to talk a little bit about, you know, the extreme nature of these uh, cases. It, it does raise questions. I mean, here is a, a young man, Sahil, in his 20s. Uh, he is in a relationship with this girl for five years. For whatever reason, I mean, couples always break up and that's, that's, that's okay. But he murders her. He gets rid of her body, hides it in a freezer. And I'm amazed. I mean, he's driving around 40 kilometers from central Delhi all the way to the border with Haryana. And nobody in the area, none of the neighbors, passers-by, and, and forget about them. Even his friends or family seem to have a damn clue. I mean, what does that say about us, about society, about people around this, this young man? Everybody is now in a rat race. We are all short of time. We are all very occupied and preoccupied with our own goings on. I don't think so. We got to investigation will show whether it came to the notice of anybody or not. And did they ignore it? But I don't think if anybody had seen it and would ignore it. But I think it's more on impersonal lives now. So, so tell me, I mean, this is clearly psychotic behavior, whether it was Sahil or Aftab before him. Uh, and these days, you know, People, young people are living in, um, they're going on dating apps, uh, they're going on blind dates. You can't stop that. And I, I don't think stopping that would be either practical or, or logical. But is there something that young people uh, can, can look for in terms of telltale signs? If a person is behaving in a certain fashion, then your antennas need to go up. Something's wrong with him. Uh, are there signs that can be picked up for this kind of psychotic behavior before it gets to uh, such extreme cases where, you know, people are killed and bodies are cut up. I think defiant ch childhood, children defying parents now is the norm, almost becoming the norm. Having good uh, children who are listening to their parents, loving, respecting, caring and bonding, I think is one, one group. The other is um, no relationship. Um, it's a user relationship. You give me this and I do this. Correct. Parents almost are afraid of adult children, girls and boys who threaten to leave homes if parents don't go, uh, go by them. So I think parents are afraid and parents then finally give up and they distance themselves because they see what can they, they feel helpless. I think a stage is coming where parents are becoming helpless of many of their teenaging children, boys so, and girls both. So, so the fact that such violent crimes are happening against women it's happening in the national capital and it's happening repeatedly i mean I, i've just enlisted about three or four cases that have happened in the last one year and this is the stuff that's you know come out into the media god knows how many such cases are there which have not been reported about what does it say according to you dr Bedi, about the utter lack of fear of the law in the national capital i think society is accepting violence as a part of its life we as, as in the society, we are ignoring violence. We are not talking the language of peace. Peace is not part of our growth. 
I think that's where we are suffering from. Violence is becoming the norm. Being unlawful is almost getting away and you can get away as they see. Punishment doesn't come too soon. Punishment is not exemplary. Punishment okay. is also, there's no social taboo to these things. The, I think the social norms having changed, the, the, therefore the violence is becoming the norm. It's not a taboo. Being somebody violent, will unlawful is not being looked down upon. Violence is being tolerated in a big way. So violence then comes, enters the homes as well. Uh, one final word, and, and again, I know you've talked about this in the past as well, that there needs to be exemplary punishment. But, you know, we've said this right from uh, 2012 when Nirbhaya happened. It's been more than 10 years now. Uh, what do you think needs to be done so that at least this case or the Shraddha case or any of the cases that we've seen in the recent past become an example for potential such deviant uh, behavior? Zaka message now is becoming exemplary punishment within weeks, within mm -hmm, yeah. weeks. And such punishment should be nothing but death by pen death, death penalties or or imprisonment for life. No remissions, okay, no yeah. remissions after 14 years, unless they she see the threatening life inside a prison. And also within two months, maximum two weeks when the memory is fresh. I think that's very, very important that it the person is hung while the crime memory is yeah, fresh. Is still alive. Minds. All right. Okay. We'll leave it at that. Dr. Kiran Bedi, always a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, we'll keep a close tab on how this case progresses and the Delhi Police's investigation into it. Meanwhile, let's shift focus from.